Good afternoon. Welcome. I'm Carl Roberts and welcome to Tag Together the Group. In previous uh, sessions on YouTube, we have covered the Tag Pyramid structure in order to deliver success. As we previously spoke about, a pyramid is built on different layers. Clearly the bottom layer being the majority of the pyramid, the biggest part where everything happens. We spoke about team wins, how we get our teams and our individuals to perform. Now what we're gonna cover for the next three to five minutes is the safe to fail cycle. How we as individuals and as team members and as managers enable all of our team and people to succeed by putting them in the safe to fail cycle. It's a safe space. First thing we wanna talk about is acceptance. Team members need to accept that they're part of this process. And in some cases, we are gonna fail at some things that we do. Failure is a good thing. Why we ask ourselves? Have a little think about that now. Hopefully you're thinking what I'm thinking. We learn from it. We look at it as a positive. We reverse engineer it. That went wrong, now we can improve from it. A PDP, personal Deve development plan, with your teammate, with your manager, with your employee, maybe your employer. Where we can give honest feedback, what you were doing well, what you were doing not so well and you can improve. Things that we missed, things that we included. We accept it. How we may see things is not how our teammates may see things. Bit of conscious bias there. We all think we're good at everything sometimes. Again, I haven't dropped my pen on this session. I'm learning. Mutual trust, trusting each other, trusting your teammates. Are they reliable? Are you reliable? Can you trust me? Have you got my back? Measure of effect. Wrong hand, right hand. Measure of effect. How good was it? Did we hit our targets? Did we achieve our aim? Did we pass on for information? Whatever that may be. But we've got to have a goal within our SMART objectives, something that we can aim for, measure of effect. How was it? How can we move, how can we move forward? Can we adapt something? Can we improve our working processes? Can I improve? Can the individual improve? Can you improve? Then we speak about personal and team goals. Team and personal goals should be logged and reported. So we've always got something to aim for. Remember, they should be smart. They should be specific to you. They should be measurable. So there's a good chance that we're going to achieve them as well. They should be relevant to what you're trying to achieve. And they should be time bound. You're going to need time to achieve the goal, whether that be as an individual and or as a team. If you are achieving, make it stick. It works. If it works, it's productive. We're growing as individuals. We're growing as a team. Output can be improved. Everyone is getting better. Make it stick. Log it. Report it. Once you make it stick, then look. How can we get even better? Ruthless in performance. Ruthless in excellence. Being that driving force. And remember... Why are we doing this? We invest in the people. We invest in ourselves and we invest in our team. We inform them, our team. Make sure you inform yourself of the opportunities that's out there. And more importantly, we inspire through values-based leadership for the way we conduct ourselves and for the person or the team or the organisation that we want to become. We lead from the front. Remember, safe to fail cycle, we got that right. With team wins, the pyramid is built and you'll achieve your aim, which is what? For you and your team to have success. Thanks for listening.